What's good, YouTube? That one eighty two. You're back again, once again. And today, people, today, Platinum is out of your screen. The random Pokemon generator from randompokemon.com is like fifteen episodes ago. I know I'm late on this one, but uh, we hatched. What well, we didn't hatch. We revived two dome fossils because, of course, all the field items are randomized in our Platinum randomizer nuzlocke as well. And they randomized in. Well, they didn't randomize. They didn't randomize at all. It was just Kabuto's. But all the wild Pokemon are randomized. So I asked you guys, would it be okay if we randomized the two Kabuto's that we revived? And everybody said yes. And you guys have been reminding me ever since. And I'm just a horrible person because I had to wait 15 episodes to do it. But we're here now. Um, I don't think I can randomly generate it specifically just for like 4th gen and below. So if we pull a 5th or 6th gen Pokemon, we're just going to re randomize again and just go for something else. So for our first Kabuto and BT dubs, BT dubs, BT dubs. I'm not going to change anything about the Pokemon. Uh, whatever level the Kabutos are, that's the level the Pokemon will be. But whatever nature the Kabutos are, all that stuff is going to stay the exact same with the new randomized Pokemon. Even if it's a bad nature, it's going to just stay that way. Okay? So here we go. I'm going to generate. I'm going to generate! First one is... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's a ditto. Okay, so we have a ditto in our PC now. The next one will be a Metapod. I would rather kept the Kabutos, goddammit. Anyways, so yeah, uh, if that was curse lock. I would have just lost the ditto right there. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use Pokegen to go ahead and change the Kabutos into a ditto and a Metapod, and I will catch up with you guys in a bit. What's good, YouTube? That one to you back again once again. Hey, people, today we're back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, you guys, we took on Crash Your Wake, aka Wake Up Mania, for our fifth Zeno League gym badge, and we were successful in obtaining it. And at the end of the last episode, we had to get stuff going on at the marsh. We gotta go and figure it out. Yeah! Uh, at the beginning of this episode, as well, you did see we randomized our Kabutos into a Ditto and a Metapod. Um, however, I was having some issues with Pokegen, and it wouldn't save it right. Like, I, I think I'm gonna have to, I don't know if it's just my copy of Pokegen, or what the hell's going on, but I think I'm gonna have to send it to Callum, and Callum can uh, randomize it for me and send it back to me, just because some stupid craziness has been going on with it. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, but either way, they have been random, well, the in-game they're not randomized just yet, but you guys saw what they are randomized too, so... I mean, it, it, to me, it doesn't really make that much of a difference for today's episode because even if we lose someone on our team, I'm not, I don't plan to replace them with a Ditto or a Metapod, so it is what it is. But anyways, you guys came through with the support in the last episode, so I think we should go ahead and set another goal, but let's set it to an obtainable one. Let's set it to an obtainable one. If you guys are hyped for today's episode of Pokemon Platinum and you are a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash out the like button down below for us, and let's set a goal of 2,500 likes for today's episode. I know we can hit it. I know at the Nappy Nation, if we put our minds to anything, we can make it happen. So, with that, let's go ahead and get a quick party update for you guys. As you can see, we have Skyrim level 38 because in the last episode, Wake's gym was randomized into a grass type gym. And Skyrim, with his powerful, powerful muscle band fly attack, just popped everything in the gym. So, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> then we have Prezor level 35, who's got a quick claw, which works for everything on. Except for Whirlwind. I was going to say, it works for everything, right? I got rid of Vital Thr No, Whirlwind still has negative priority. But either way, he's got Whirlwind, Fake Out, Force Palm, and Rock Smash. Then we have Raiden, our Electivire, who's holding the Shell Bell, who's got Quick Attack, Thunder Punch, Shockwave, and Cross Chop. Then we have Gray, our Articuno, which is our starter that you guys chose, who's holding the Nevermelt Ice, which powers up that Ice Shard, but he also has the Fog, Ancient Power, and Arrow Blast. Then we have Comix, our Blast, which is level 35, which holds the Mystic Water, which powers up that Aqua Tail and the Water Pulse, but he also has Bite and Withdraw. And then last but not least, we have Little Lou Owl, who's level 35, holding the leftovers, because it's just so goddamn greedy and hungry and whatnot. But she, or he, I should say, has Mega Drain, Magic Leaf, Stun Spore, and Sunny Day. And these, my glasses are over here, and I have these two post-it notes that are just driving me crazy. Driving me crazy! Anyway, so with that, let's go ahead and uh, get into today's episode. What we need to do... Uh, what? <laughs> That's Callum. I was going to say, I don't think I ever saw anybody stand behind those boards before. Anyways, uh, I was going to say, before we head to the Great Marsh, let's go ahead and head down here because we have not actually, we don't have Surf yet. When do we get Surf? I don't know when do we get Surf. Don't we get it sometime soon? Because don't you have to go to, to, like, to get to the 6th gym badge? Don't you have to go Surf across some stuff? Should we just fish here? I don't know. I don't know if I want to fish here or not. Do we get a good rod? Do we have a good rod? Do we? Do we, 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 do we
Oh, Rod. We have a good Rod. Wait, do we, have, we don't have a Super Rod just yet? Isn't Super Rod post game in this game? So I think Good Rod might be the best we can get. But we have not gotten an encounter for Pastoria City. I'm staring at. Ugh. Come on now, I was gonna say, I was staring at it to make sure it didn't go by, but yeah, we have not gotten an encounter in Pastoria City yet, even though we made it to Pastoria City two episodes ago, and the last episode, come on, with not even a nibble, what are you talking about? How is there water with nothing living in it? It's water of Pokemon! Come on now, give me some good, come on, jam Oh my, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Is there nothing here that the good rod can obtain? Well, I guess we're gonna wait. Uh, Pastoria City, we still don't have an encounter for. But, I wanted to ask you guys about the Great Marsh, because inside of the Great Marsh, there's technically six different areas. Like, they actually say area, and it, the title changes at the top. But for some people, some people consider that sheep, you know, the area itself is the Great Marsh. But, I wanted to ask you guys, should we include each of, uh, what is it, six? Each of the six different areas inside the, Great Mar inside the Great Marsh as a different area. Should we be allowed to get one capture inside the Great Marsh total, or a total of six because of the different areas in the Great Marsh? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and in the next episode, we'll come back to the Great Marsh and get our encounters, and hopefully a Pastoria City encounter, too. Rah! Anyways, Wake Mania. Oh, here he comes. Square out there, hey! What am I, chop liver? Don't forget I'm here, too. So brother, where's this galactic? Boom, doom. Yeah, bombs and Pokemon. It's Mo. Look at Mo, the the the, the grunt. Ha! <laughs> that was rough. You, brother, what have you done? What I've done, you're asking? Well, technically speaking, it wasn't me. The package that arrived, see? That was a bomb named the Galactic Bomb. Me, I was told to push the button, so I did. Like boink. Oh, that's right, mustn't forget the test results need reporting. Cheerio then, you daft cutter, your mask's absurd. Oh, he just disrespected you and your life! The Great Marsh is invaluable, brother! You two, do not follow me! Don't let anyone else in, either! There'd be big trouble if there's any of that bomb left, brother! I like how the gym leader finally, like, stands up and takes responsibility. Scrap there! Hey, Mappy! You go out to that galactic goon! I'm staying here like the mask is dead! I gotta keep others from going in! Don't let that galactic guy get away! Oh, don't you worry, I'm running! I'm running! I won't let him get away! Hey, you damn codger! I caught you! What's with you? Stop chasing after me, you! I have half a mind to pulverize you with my Pokemon, but I have to be on my way to the lake ASAP, so you're lucky. I'm out. Alright, do I make myself clear? Don't you dare follow me! Man, you don't know me! You don't know me! Get back here! Come here, way to go, way to go, way to go! There you go, hello. We need the energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. It would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific mechanical genius. Oh! You were eavesdropping! I was just thinking out loud, but I'm not gonna waste my energy knocking you around. Man, if you don't knock me down, when they knock you down, you gotta get back up when they knock you down, knock, knock you down. I don't care if you battle me or not, man. But boy, this collective bomb packs a pretty big wallop. But with this baby here, there's not much we can't blow up. I wonder what they have planned for this. He saw me. You were eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. You're a persistent pest. I'm getting tired of running away. But I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Why well, you said the exact same thing? Oh! Where's part of fourth gym? Hello, my friend. The cargo that the Team Galactic brought is worrisome, so I have come. You say the cargo, it was a bomb, and there was an explosion. The explosion was at the Great Marsh. Furthermore, you are pursuing a man, a man with a funny bowl cut hair, in an outfit that is very strange. In other words, that is the Team Galactic. Oh, no, 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 no. How did I miss it? Ah, looker, this time you have made a mistake of the ages. The man who I have been running away, he was the bearer of the bomb. Ah, this will not do. Wait, wait, I say. Oh, I hate looker. Looker, he's so useless. Like, I wish they'd create a character like Looker that actually put in work. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, that's a gym leader. It's Clay from 4th Gen. Yeah, I don't want to talk to him. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna bother speaking to him. Homeboy, where you at? Oh, I could, I could go do the battles in here now. Ooh, I want to do the battles in there. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. <sighs> Why am I running like this anyway? That new world, that new universe that our boss was talking about. It's making me giddy thinking about it. When we use this thing. Ugh, you were eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. You're persistent, too. I'm pooped out from all the running, but I'm not going to battle you. So you take off running again. Okay. 
That makes so much sense. Ah, oh, no! You're still in my tail! The lake's within sight! You leave me no choice! My Pokemon will KO you! Nah, son! Let me rest here, Ash! See, see, like, Ash turns his hat backwards, right? When he gets into a battle, I roll up my sleeves. Let's go. You got a crow gunk? You got a crow gunk? Catch this muscle bear! Fly! Catch this muscle bear! Fly! You don't want this! You don't want this! You don't want this! You don't want this! See, what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep using Skyrim until he gets to... Like, oh, I could've gone for the Zen headbutt and not wasted two turns, but... Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep using Skyrim until he gets to level 40. And then swap to other people and start, or swap to other people, swap to other Pokemon and start training them up as well. Catch that choice band and fly. Bop! 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 Get about! 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 I wish! I wish they slid off your screen and and didn't fall down because I'd be just be like, whoop! Excuse me! Whoop! Excuse me! Whoop! Excuse me! Get about! Ha! If I didn't run, I could have battled harder. No, not with just a crow gunk. You couldn't have. I can't battle anymore. I'm running on fumes. I'll have to give this to the commander. I wish I got to use that at the lake. Really? He's gonna slowly run that way? Okay. 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 No! No! <laughs> okay, so... Last time we encountered Cynthia, I asked you guys for recommendations for what voice we should give her because I, I, don't, I, I don't have, like, a really, really good Cynthia voice. Because she's, like, this strong, stern woman. You know, like, Cynthia has her, her shift tree together. She knows what she's doing. But, a lot of you guys suggested that we use the voice for Urza from Fairy Tale, And I agree, that's a really, really great voice. The only problem with that is, I have no idea how to do an Urza voice without sounding masculine, like a man. So the question is, how do I... Like, I can I can hear her in my head. I've watched enough Fairy Tale. I don't need to, like, look it up or anything. Not Sue! So, not... Not... Not to, not to, not to. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I, I can hear it in my head screaming not to. How do I? How do? How would I do it? How would I do it? How would I do it? How would I do Urza Scarlet? Titania Urzing. How would I do it? How would I do it? Uh, gray, 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 gray. gray. No, it's it's so it's such an uh, how. <sighs> Like, I can't do feminine voices. Like, when it comes to, like, uh, pitches and whatnot, like, I have, like, the really high feminine voices, and then I have, like, the normal feminine voices, and everything in between, it's just not accessible to me. So, like, what do, how do I, 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 how do I do it? 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 Uh, let me think. I don't know! Jalal! 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 <laughs> I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! Oh, hello! Long time no see! How is your Pokedex filling up? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but... Well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to public now. Have you heard about the... Have you heard the folklore about it? They say there's an island inside the lake. See, like, that sounds so masculine to me! Like, like, um... Uh -huh. And inside that island is a mirage of a Pokemon. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Oh, that's right. I had to talk to you about something else. Why are you here ruining stuff? Scrafty! Hey, Nappy! What's that Galactic Guru on to? Didn't he tell you to wait outside and make sure nothing happened? Huh? Is it your older sister? My hair is brunette. Her hair is blonde. We don't look anything alike. You two could be older brother and sister. No, she isn't. Okay. That was in the Great Marsh. It wasn't any, an explosion in the Great Marsh. It wasn't anything serious. Mr. Wake told me to tell you that. But the Team Galactic, wow, are they out of control or what? Next time I see them, I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. See you around. Get about, get about, get about. He's your friend. He's more important than he is energetic, isn't he? Oh. So, getting back to what I started saying earlier. Have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Yes, that's right, by the cafe on Route 210. You've seen that group of Psyduck huddle with their heads in their, uh, hands? Anyways, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. You're working on the Pokedex, so it would be worthwhile for you. Again, it's just, it's not, it's not fitting her. I need to go, like, go listen to Earl Scarlet for, like, nine years and just try my best. I went on a big adventure with the Pokedex when I was younger. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. It may help you with the secret of the Mirage Pokemon. See you later. That is not Cynthia! That is not Cynthia! Oh, it's not Cynthia. And he still can't get into the lake. So, what do, what do, what do, what do? Um, 
Okay, so we we'll have to wait until the next episode for the Great Marsh Pokemon. Pastoria City doesn't want to cooperate. And wait, she, what she just she gave us the medicine for okay. Wait, do we have a bite? We have a bite, okay. So what we need to do right now is there are two additional areas that I know off the top of my head we can get encounters in. Wait, 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 wait. Let me check my bag. How many Pokeballs do we have? Oh, we got great balls. Okay. So we're good to go on that part. Of course you guys know what I'm about to say. We can go, uh, what is it, Route 210? I want to say, whatever's on the western side, southwestern side of Pastoria City, because, like I said, we can't get Encounter Pastoria City over here at Route 212. Okay, so over here, we can get Encounters. You want to you wanna battle? You want to battle? And, of course, the Pokemon Mansion with the Trophy Garden, we can get Encounter as well. So whatever our first encounter is on Route 212, it shall be done. And, like, this is so pointless, there's nothing here. Get about. 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 And we don't have anybody in our party that has cut off the top of our heads. Off the top of our heads. We don't have anybody in our party period that has cut. I think our Venusaur in the PC had cut. Maybe not the Venusaur. Maybe it was somebody else. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. But yeah, I want to go through this route again so we can screw over the training and get Skyrim to level 40 and start using some other members of our party. And then I also wanted to get the encounters on this route too. So hopefully. Nothing crazy happens and we don't get bodied. I mean, we haven't had too many issues yet with our with our adventure, with our journey so far. Even though it is on set. It's on set battle style. Everyone and their mother told me that set battle style is so much harder and so difficult. And it's like, it's not the bad for me. I don't know if it's just because we've gotten super lucky with the randomizer or what. But it's just, it's not, it's not, it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. What do you want for me? What do you want for me? It's not that difficult. Um, I do think Carnivine should get an evolution, though. Well, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think Carnivine should get a mega evolution. But I think it should definitely get an evolution, like... But, like, if Carnivine got an evolution, like, the only way I could see it would be, like, combining Carnivine and Tangrowth together. Like, that's how I would see it. Like, just more vines and a big mouth. That's the only, that's the only real reason, the only way I could see Carnivine evolving is like that. But I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But what I really don't understand is why do they make the trainers out here so low-leveled? Like, I get that it's accessible before you go to the gym, but, like, is that legit the only reason why? Because it's an accessible area before you get to the gym, so they can't just put sky-high trainers out here so you don't get bodied? I mean, if it was me and I developed the game of, you know... <laughs> I'll be on my suit and tie. Suit and tie. But, yeah, if I, if I developed the game and I was... Working for Game Freak, I don't know why I blanked on that. Working for Game Freak, I would make it so that you do get bodied out here, so you know not to come out here. You should turn around and go back. <laughs> That's what I would do. First trainer would have like level 40s or something. And our first encounter is. A oh, why not? Well, technically that counts as species clause, because we do are we have already caught a Wobbuffet, so technically that counts as species clause. So I think we're going to. Uh, ignore this one right here. Bite, can we kill it? Bite, can we kill it? I swear to God, if you live this and go for a counter. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, we already have the Wobbuffet Fett in the PC, named Death, that we caught in a turn of four. So, we're going to use Species Claws there and see what our next encounter on Route 212 could be. And it is, survey says... A Corsola! I bet you they have like wild Arcanines here, and I run into a Corsola. Uh, is this even gonna be worth capturing? I mean, it's just a Corsola. Like, Corsola is not really all that amazing. I'm gonna go for Zen Head, but I know Corsola is decent defense, so hopefully, this doesn't kill it or knock it out. Hopefully, it'll just make it flinch. Oh, just enough. Just enough. Just barely. Does Cor Corsola doesn't have a sturdy. No, that's, that's not how sturdy. Wait, is that how, no, that's not how sturdy works in this gen, right? I don't remember. I don't remember which gen it is. I don't think. I don't think it's in fourth gen. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. By the way, catch this Pokeball. Stay in the Pokeball. Stay in the Pokeball. Stay in the Pokeball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Thank you. It's greatly appreciated, Corsola. I'm glad that you decided to work with me. All right, so we got a Corsola for what it's worth. You know, many live in the clean seas of the South. They apparently can't live in polluted waters. I mean, I don't know why anybody would choose to live in polluted waters, but... Okay, well, I mean, I guess like a muck or a grime or something like that. But I'm gonna nickname this the same nickname that we had from our Fire Red, Leaf Green Red Versus. And that is Toothpaste. 
because I mean I don't know I don't know Callum suggested it but when I look at it I see like the colors like it looks like they color the rock with toothpaste you know what I mean you know what I mean I mean okay so we got our encounter here so honestly wait did she win a battle she's she's okay whatever um what I want to do is if we have it available do we have super repels do we have any repels I think we do we do have super repels. Oh, get up out, get up out, get up out. Just to make our journey here a little bit easier on us, we can super repel our way out. Excuse me. Excuse me. An awakening. That's actually a useful randomized field item. I'll take that any day of the week. Any day of the week. Get out of the mud! Okay. I'm wasting the super repel. Let's keep it moving. Oh, of course she wants to battle. Why wouldn't she want to battle? Why wouldn't she, she want to battle? Ah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Fan Marshall. Fan Marshall sent out Goldeen. Goldeen, 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 Goldeen. I just want to not catch an Ice Beam number one, and I just want Skyrim to be level 40, level 40, because I feel like we just we just walk through everything with Skyrim. But I mean, it's, it's, I mean, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? It's like, we got it through the luck of the randomizer, and I'm not going to not use a good Pokemon. Goldeen, take us slow at 39. Come on. Yeah! Goldie! Goldie, 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 Goldie. So hopefully by the end of today's episode, he'll be at level 40. That is the goal. That is the plan. That's what we're shooting for. A bit roll. Oh, it's a big ball. This reminds me of our ex one luck. We want Serena. Is she kidding me? I don't want to spoil anything. I don't want to spoil anything at all. But that just reminds me of our X Wonder Lock, and for those of you guys that saw the X Wonder Lock, you know why. You know why. Shards. Okay, so this is the move tuner. I want to see what moves he knows. That's the thing. Which Pokemon should I teach? Oh no, it's not like it's not like those move tutors. It's just individual. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. It's based upon the Pokemon. Not they don't just host a, a number of moves. This is Route Two Twelve as well. Should we fight these guys? Oh god. Excuse me. Oh, looks like we gotta go that way. Uh, should we fight these guys? I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna do it! I think, I think what I might try and do is I might try and rush ahead and just get to the uh, Dancer Esteban. Oh my lord, he's got a Gyarados. Calm down. Calm down, calm down. I might just rush ahead and try and get to the Trophy Garden and just get that encounter in this episode. Because I don't want the episode to be super duper long. Super duper long, if you know what I mean. I don't want to be that long. Catch this dragon claw. Ha! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I was gonna say I know Gyarados. Oh, it's a crit. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say I know Gyarados. It's a fully evolved Pokemon, so it's got some sort of bulk to it. You know what I mean? I know Gyarados can take a hit or two, but I mean if it's, it's a crit. Never mind. Where's Shady Penguin? It's a crit when you need it. 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 Okay, Dancer Tia, Dancer Tia. Goldeen, 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 Goldeen. Go Skyrim. Go Skyrim, go Skyrim, go. Go Skyrim, go Sky. So, what I, I had this idea, you guys. If you guys remember a while back, and this, this always happens. This happened yesterday when I did uh, Gale of Darkness. Yesterday's episode of Gale of Darkness, just I like, oh no, no, it wasn't yesterday. It was earlier today. Earlier today's episode of Gale of Darkness. Like, I remembered this this game from my childhood, and I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to ask you guys about it. And then I completely forgot about it until the trigger word in the episode reminded me about it. And here, here we are again in the episode and surrounding me about it. But, um, a while back I did a Teespring campaign for a shirt that had uh, Back Again Once Again on it. And a lot of you guys bought it, but the campaign didn't complete. It didn't. We didn't sell all the shirts in the amount of time. And I don't know. It really demotivated me when it comes to shirts and whatnot. But you guys still ask about shirts all the time. So I thought uh, we we're gonna have a different design and run a new Teespring campaign. But this time it was gonna say it was gonna have like you guys know the Ghostbusters Gengar design we have, where it's like Gengar. It's it's on our it's on the channel banner. You know, it's like Gengar in the big uh, void symbol. And he's got his hand reached out, just like the Ghostbusters logo. Uh, it was gonna be that, but it says, uh, I think it says, that's why you call me champion, or something like that, across it. And, I don't know, I thought about, I thought about trying a new T-Spring campaign for that, and see if any of you guys are interested in shirts like that. I don't know, maybe we could launch the back in once again one, and give it a little more time. I don't know, I just, let me know what you guys think in, in the comment section, what you guys think of those two T-shirt designs specifically. Like, would, would it be worth it, would you guys be interested in shirts like that? 
Um, because for me, oh, well, anytime I ever mention what's with the Gyarados? Anytime I ever mention T-shirts, everybody always says, "Well, you should make a T-shirt design with this on it. You should make a T-shirt design with this on it." And it's like I can only do so many T-shirt designs, you know. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys are into it and you guys are interested, then I'll go ahead and set it up and launch another Teespring campaign and see what we can do. And see what we can do with it. Faux show. Faux show. But I'd run them for like a month. Because I feel like that was the what ended up biting us in the area those last time. Was that we, like I set it up, but it was only for like a week and a half. Like two weeks. I don't know why I thought that we did do all that in two weeks. But I don't know. I might set it up for like a month or two months or something like that. Just to give everybody a chance to collect their finances or whatnot because that, that was another thing that happened last time we did that because everyone always said you know I'd buy one but I don't get paid until the end of the month or yada 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 whatever whatever whatever, whatever. so I don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see oh we shall see oh we shall see oh we shall see we shall see we shall see so yeah but either way we're about to hit level 40 with this last Pokemon and I would like to it's a Barboach a Golden got us to 39 and a Barboach is gonna get us to 40 I will gladly take that I, I kind of feel bad for Barboach though because its stats are only base 280 like, that's just terrible. <laughs> that's just terrible. Its base stats are 280, and I just, like, I feel so bad for you. I feel so bad for you. And Skyrim's 040, so get it up out, get it up out, get it 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 out. Actually, I can make this process a lot faster if I use the Lucky Egg. So the question is, who do we use next? I'm gonna go out to Luau, because we're running into a lot of, I mean, a lot of, uh, water types here, so hopefully Luau can put in some work, because Luau, we really haven't seen much of Luau so far at all. And Sadie! Come here, Sadie. 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 She always likes to what? No! No. 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 Nine. 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 Sun spore. Sun spore. Why are you trying to pursue trap me? You think I'm gonna swap out? Get up out. Hold that stun spore, and I'm about to get rid of this rain, and I'll speed you. Well, I already I'll speed you, but I'm about to get rid of this rain. Oh, God, forget about Sacred Eyes! Ah! Ah! Guess I don't have to speed you now, do I? I'm gonna get rid of this paralysis, though. Sadie, come here! Come here, sit down. Sit, 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 sit. Sit, 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 You guys know how I am with her. If she ever wanders off while I'm in the middle of recording, she's gonna go up, be up to no good, because that's just what she does. And then I'm gonna have to stop what I'm doing, which is record an episode, and go figure out what she's doing, and it's just aggravation to the finest. <sighs> okay. Sand attack, nobody care about no sand attack. Who are you, the heat mo? Get up out. Get up out, 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 Oh! Like, what, what would that look like if you're just walking along the route and, like, it's just pouring down raining everywhere, and then all of a sudden it's just this one patch of just sunshine? Just for this Pokemon battle. I know this is not gonna do anything. Well, it did more than I thought. It actually, did a lot more than I thought. Shoo! I'm gonna try it again, mate. Wait, does Magic Leaf always hit? Is it like Shockwave? I think it's. Isn't it just like a grass type Shockwave? How it always hits? I'm pretty sure it is. I think it is. We can check that. We can check that right now, actually. We can check that right now. Slip. No, 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 no. Check moves. It does. This attack will not miss. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Actually, I didn't even think about that until just now and I used it. That's good to know. I won't forget that. I won't forget that. Because then when we did Platinum over on the Prison Podcast, there was a, there was a time when uh, I think Shady was playing and there was a Swallow spamming double team in on the foggy route past the Psyducks. And we were like, I'm not going to hit this thing. I'm going to die. I said, Jotun has Shockwave. Just hit it. It's just little, little things like that that'll save you in the, right in the nick of time. So catch this magic leaf and die. Die, Umbreon, die! Ugh. Raise my blood pressure. I swear. Only thing Umbreon's are good for is experience. This is the only thing. Here comes an Espeon. Good thing I lost my poison typing. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Ain't that right? And I'm not even gonna bother with the sun spore because I know how you is too. I know how you is too. Get about, get about, get about, get about. I did, did so much. Well, we are. Stop sand attacking me! That is so aggravating. A sunlight faded. No, but the the rain's not here either. That's fine. Don't matter. Die, 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 die. I'll just say I am kind of I am over leveled against the Espeon a bit in the Umbreon, but still I didn't expect to do that much. Maybe I'm underestimating Blossom's power. I wonder what Blossom's special attack is looking like right now, like compared to everybody else in the party. 
Like, what is what is Blossom special attack like? Oh, wait, wait, I just passed the stats. Special attack 78. That's 80. That's 84. 78. It's. It's. <laughs> compared to the other special attackers in the party, it's not all that. It's not all that amazing. But, uh. I was gonna say I don't think this guy wants to. I was gonna say I don't think this guy wants to battle us. Let's zip across this and get this item. Steel wing. I'll take it. I'll take it, young young gentleman. But I think on this little island right here is where we're gonna end today's episode, right here. In the next episode, we're gonna push. Uh, we're gonna continue to push throughout 212. And does it change it around 213? I don't know if it does or not. But we're gonna continue to push and make our way to the Pokemon Mansion and get an encounter in the Trophy Garden. As no, no, actually, actually, you know what? this is perfect. This is perfect because we're right where we need to be. We're not too far away from Pass Three, so we can't turn around and go back because we still have the Great Martian encounters to go scoop up. So, let us know what you guys think about the Great Martian Counters, let us know what you think about t-shirt designs and whatnot, and make sure you smash the hell out that like button down below for us if you are a proud member of the Nappy Nation, and if you enjoyed today's episode, the goal for today's episode is a power for 2,500 likes, I know that no matter what we do in life, as long as we put our mind to it, we can do it. But with that, thank you all so much for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. You know me today, I'm 2 uh, I'm out!